Logging into MS Copilot is very simple. The first thing that you need is to navigate to the URL copilot.microsoft.com and then when you get to that site you have to have an MS account. You can have a work account or you can have a personal account. Let's start with personal account. When you navigate to the page go up to the upper right hand corner there and you'll find choices and the choice we want here is for our personal account so we'll go ahead and pick that and then we're just going to sign in we're going to put in our email and that information and then i need to go to my email i need to get a code and i need to then put that into microsoft and then it's going to ask me if i want to stay signed in sure why not i'll stay signed in and then i can go back to the site and start using it now, if I have a work account, on the other hand, it's very similar, but I still have to go to the page. I have to choose the work account. Then once I've chosen the work account, I've got to sign in with my work email. And then uh, it's going to take me maybe to my organization's web sign-in page, however that works. We use a duo. I, I did everything correctly. Boom, I'm in. It's a success. Yay. Again, do I want to stay signed in or not? It will ask me that question. I will decide that. And now I'm in Copilot. And now I can start creating items. In this case, I'm creating a duck sitting at a desk um, doing some work. I can create some concepts. Any kind of artwork that I want, I can AI imagine.